Hello everybody, my name is Robo Ripe, and welcome back to Spearfarer. It has been like a month since we played this, and I have forgotten many things. Someone locked themselves in a room, we can't talk to him. Oh, look. Was this Steven or something like that? Whoa, look, big hat! I, I did what you told me. The guest house is now Stanley's room. But it's not entirely ready yet. I still need a bunch of stuff to make it nice. Wanna help? W w could you help? That'd be great. I need some linen fabric. I'm making something. I can't tell you what it is. It's a secret. Well, don't I have a crap ton of that? Oh, it's so the soft guy. Thank you so much, big hat. You're the best. I can't believe I'm on this ship. I heard a seagull earlier, I think. That is so cool. Well, I think I might have been a pigeon or a stomach rumbling. But if it was, that's pretty awesome. Big boy's room. Quest completed. Do we do anything else with him? Yeah, Giovanni's ready to go. I thought Uncle's getting it. Try and make him as happy as we can. Wasn't that amazing? Wasn't that amazing? All right, he's about as happy as I can get him. So let's take him to the Everdoor now. I've made sushi. I've made a delicacy. Have some sushi. Feed it to the others that love it. Thanks, ma'am. Sheep are fat and happy. And the world's been great since I've been gone. Let's take Geo. Let's take him away. I think we gotta wait for him to walk down there too anyway. Yeah. Where's his dance and strut and ass at? Okay, well, are we ready to go to the Everdoor though? Do I have to sleep first? I can't sleep. What do you want me to do, game? Am I not technically at the Everdoor? We sail away and then come back. All right, I'm dead on the nose. It better work this time. Come on. Ready, Geo? Didn't this say I was supposed to take Geo to the Everdoor? Well, I guess uh, Geo, Geo's just refusing to go. I don't know what to do. Improve their house, picture frame, build a smithy. Do we not have a smithy? Oh, that's right. I forgot. We got the super bounce now. We can go to that lighthouse. But we'll go here, see if we can do whatever we couldn't do before. And then we'll come back. Try and drop Giovanni off again. Oh, this place is missing something. Oh, I know. Uh, it needs to have a fancy decoration. I need something awesome. A treasure. Something that looks shiny and valuable. A Jockey, maybe. Anything. A gift. Please, big hat. What the hell is the jockey? I have no to jockey. Jockey. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Alrighty. I remember right, there was an umbrella here, right? Yep. Hey, hey. <clears throat> How was that? Oh, by, by the stars, by the 11 stars. I, I knew you'd come, the chosen one, spirit fair. A mere glimpse of your white sail on the horizon, gleaming with hope and virtue, suffice to my brighten my soul. A simple glance at your glorious galleon made my heart rise in awe. Blaze be holler. You are here, Commander. One, one can only bow in front of your illustrious presence. I am Buck, your humble servant and narrator. My modest presence of your august vessel will guide your footsteps on the path to glory. Oh, may the radiant bay bless your hat forever. This is a grand day. The joy overwhelms me as tall as Mount Fadaris. Fast as the great sea. To the vessel. Just like that, we got a new homie. Oh, I unlocked it. Nice. What hell's going off with these, like... Uh, something up there. Over here. We 
got a recipe, tomato pizza. Not sure how that survived in the water this whole time, but it's fine. I think I had an opal. Maybe we should go up there and jump down on it. He's got a treasure up there. I don't know where we're at. Feel like we've gone too far. We've gone too far. Mother of God. How am I supposed to know? Two, we're probably over the thing. Three, four, five. Sun's there. I'm no! We were between them both! Okay, I think if I get to that one. Oh. Peaches! Mint collectible card. Hell yeah. Susan want that? Susan? Words can't aptly describe the immensity of my joy, Commander. At the idea of my humble presence here on this very deck. But also as I gaze into the stars and patiently wait our future ventures to unfold. Commander, the duty of knowledge rests heavily on my frail shoulders. I must inform you of your mission. Laid ahead of us by this tortuous vicissitudes of fate itself, your task is of utmost importance. With the power of the cruel and terrible lich god Gord Nemloth can be found defeated. Make a fear check. Fifteen. A sense of gold. <laughs> Was that a D and D? You sense a gold shivering slither down your spine. Your courage jumps forth, and your mind stays clear. And the trouble that the sap of his name, Gordimoth, wants to conquer the sun itself. He inspires to steal the light itself. You must stop him at once. Only your powers can shield the world from his unholy plot. The bulwark of the stars will make the sky whole once more. But before we delve further into the treacherous plans of the Lich God. Our preparations are in order. Your humble narrator needs a little something before we can venture forth on our grand journey. In the shadow alleys of Edgeboro Lane lies an emporium of great interest. A bazaar whose gilded cabinets harbor artifacts of epic value and great rarity. Its owner, an eccentric shopkeeper, is equal part shoddy and unsculptrous. The scoundrel has got in his possession a unique scroll I covet. On the magic scroll was written in great detail of how to erect a very special mage tower. A lair of infinite wonders. Only the scroll will allow you to build it so I, your modest chronicler, can set my quarters in it. Onward! Let's set forth towards the wretched shores of this emerald city. Edgeboro Lane. Kinda green after all. We got our D&D &D boy with us now. I don't know what that is down there. Is it just telling me that there's eggs in there? We're gonna try and go... Back to the ever door real quick. Doesn't work. I don't know. We'll just move on with our lives. I don't know why Giovanni won't come out of his room. If Astrid's got him scared shitless or something. And which walk, okay. Bro, man. We gotta go there. That's the one that we drove by. I'm stupid. We're gonna go here real quick. You hungry, my dude? It is. You want a pear? Oh, wait. The sustenance contains fruit, doesn't it? I'm sorry, Commander. Unfortunately, I cannot accept your generous donation. Fruit are scarce through sacred according to the holy scriptures of Dor Unum, which I, a pious follower. It's only forbidden to even think about eating something about eating one. I cannot ingest them by faith. Yes, by faith. How about fish curry? We're switching level one. I almost wonder if maybe like he's waiting for somebody else to leave first. Like we've had our boy a tool for forever, man. And... Oh. What the hell, ma'am? I mean, something's glitched again. God damn it. Obviously, he wants to talk to me. You think maybe he's like... You know what? Now I think about it, that thing says something about moving him myself. Do you think he just doesn't want to come down from there by himself? Is he being lazy? 
Oh my god, they're making me move everything again. What a dick. That's what he... <laughs> That's what he was doing. Well, uh, well, here we are, Bambina. You know, I'm not exactly thrilled, but I've got to go. Ready to bring me there? No. I think it's the best decision. Okay, let's go. My boy Giovanni. I'm sad. I will, I will miss you, bud. Even if you're a womanizer. Is Astra going to come see you goodbye? Probably not. We should go talk to Astra real quick. Oh, she is coming. Whole gang's coming. Except for Parrot Boy, who's dead on the ground. Give you a hug one last time. Get you as happy as we can. Is he not as happy? Wait, can we can we abort? can't maybe I've, i mean i just goofed guys let's not wait around any longer i think i goofed i take a nap let by us time i think i think he's just shy of happy and i i'm not I wasn't reading that thing right now i think about it <laughs> we've been sleeping on this damn boat i don't want him to go oh fuck he's unhappy now because i made him wait on that boat <laughs> Well, guys, if I didn't fuck up before, I fucked up now. Damn it. I bet he's been super happy before, probably. <clears throat> you know what, Peanut? Second I saw you, I knew you was something special. Someone who, no matter what happened, would always be there and do the right thing. I could see that, people. See the cracks and it's easy. Light shines through. I guess that's why I fell in love with Astrid. Even though I kept banging other girls, I loved her. Mm -hmm. Ah, Astrid. She was the toughest nut you could imagine. There's such an intense light inside, shining through, warmth and fire too. Her laugh made mountains tremble, and everyone was happy when she was around. I was happy. I always spent so much time making sure other people were having fun, making jokes, being the funny guy. But they only came for her, really. Mm -hmm. Majestic, raw, radiant soul. It was amazing. And those other ladies. But you, Bambina, you've got the look in your eye. That soft killer vibe. I saw so much of me and you. Your bravery, your sense of humor, your gusto. I know it's hard doing what you do, accompanying people towards their end. Taking more than takes more gut to do something like that. It takes the soul of steel. But hey, good news. You've got it. You got it, Bambina. Even if you doubt. Even if you don't have faith in yourself, I have so much faith in you. So much faith in your strength. Goddamn Giovanni, don't do this to me. Mm -hmm. I believe in you, Peanut. Now and forever. Hey, if you need anything, I won't mm -hmm. be far. I'll be right here, standing right beside you. I'll always be there. Always. Oh, Gio. Check his nails 15 times. Mm -hmm. I know I shouldn't leave so soon. Believe me, I wish I could stay longer. Right here with you, Peanut. Promise me you'll take care of Astrid when I'm gone, okay? And don't miss me too much, will you? I never deserved you anyway. But I love you, and they won't stop even if... Uh, and that won't stop even if I'm not around anymore. The ones who really love you never really leave, you know? Mm -hmm. Life is amazing, ain't it? A whirlwind, a tremor, a flickering flame. Try so much to live to the fullest, mm -hmm. I regret nothing. Nothing but leaving Astrid. I banged all the ladies. Nothing but leaving you, mm -hmm. Stella. I wish I could have seen you grow up even more, but here we are. Alive, pour yourself one for me, will you? Ciao, Bella. Uh. Pour one out for the homies. Can't have inside, but. Ah. Uh. My boy's going out. Gonna blow out my eardrums into the Stargate. 
Bye, Geo. What are you gonna look like? Pew. I mean, I. That's probably a lion. That's probably a lion. I see it. Oh, here we are. I was wondering if we'd be back here anytime soon. Ah, uh, yes. Moved. They look a lot older in that, right? How old is Stella? Oh, piss. Oh, wait. Maybe that was a good thing. Where am I? Oh god, you scared the shit out of me. Yeah. Get out of here, creepy owl boy. I missed it again. Alright guys, I'm a platforming channel. If you haven't told, uh, watch my Super Mario playthrough. Obviously, I'm good at games. There's nothing over here? I don't wanna- I know I missed one last time. Nah. So we moved. Move away and everyone we ever loved died while we were gone. Now we got regurts. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that's what it is. Maybe that's green. Who's green? Uh, I don't remember who's green. Rather big person. So maybe it was that tool? That's got to be Gustav, right? We look much older in that one. We're all like taking pictures, traveling the world, doing stuff, right? How old am I? I assumed I was like 15, not gonna lie. Oh, hello, Hades. Yes, you beautiful bastard. Ah, though so you return, Spirit Fair. Humbled by your fusion, your disarray, your fear. Time and again, you call me by my name. Whisper echoes of my essence to those too afraid to hear it. As you stand before me, hesitation floods your heart. You seek to tame, but you only serve. And now you truly see me. See what I inflict upon those you love. All those paths you've crossed, those souls you've embraced, their lives intertwined with yours. Their faces etched upon your memory. You've opened your hearts to the suffering of others, and in return, their spark warms your heart and shapes your fate. Every spirit's a reminder. Every spirit a goodbye. What do they teach you? Their struggles? Their drama? Their memories? Your memories? Are they saying their farewells, or are you saying yours? But you are not ready, Stella. These souls still need you. Carry on your task, Spirit Fair. Soon your time will come. We will meet again for the last time. Oh, we're getting close. One last drink for the road. Geo! I'm actually surprised it's over here, not in the bar. Spirit flower. Well. Oh. Said Astrid. Be like, yo, uh, I need my boy back. I, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Should I be sad? Should I be happy? Angry? I could feel his absence, but at the same time, it's as if something had been fulfilled. Completed. You know what I mean, Munchkin? Am I a bad person? Is it okay for someone to feel liberated under such circumstances? I'm sorry, Stella. I don't want to sound grateful. I'm still a bit shaken. I'm not lost. At least you're here with me. That's the most important. My heart is stronger because you're in it. Second wind. Nice. What's your second wind, Astrid? Let Astrid live her best life. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Starts with peaches. Thank you, Munchkin. You're welcome. All right, well, I guess we're gonna go aluminum. I don't remember if I need aluminum. We're gonna go mine Olga real quick and then we'll 
go off better things, I guess. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember. What is what is homie need a tool? This guy's been on our boat like forever. I love him. But he needs to go soon. Bottled ectoplasm. I don't remember. I don't know how to do that. God damn it. I should probably fish as much as I can because that's how I pulled Stevie out of the freaking water. And I just wonder if like if I hadn't been fishing in that right spot if we would have caught him. Or if maybe because I'd fished so many times. If that's the case, I got lucky that we got lost. Two hours, because I fished a lot during that. We need to go here. I think. Have we been here before? I don't remember anything, man. It didn't it didn't announce us coming here. This is what, Edgeboro Lane? Oh, that's right. We can bounce now. Oh, snap. Where are we going? Who are you? I am the Lizard King. Oh. <laughs> well, then, Lizard King. Aw, these little people that I love. Oh, that's not where I want. Signed vintage poster. Oh wow, visitor. Nobody ever comes here. You must be lost. So we're just doing something illegal, which I am doing in no way. Good day then. I said good day. What you got? What you got? What you got? Proof of purchase. Cow. We needed that. Why did we need that? I remember that. Medium bottle of limb. Oh, no, I don't remember anything. What do we need cow purchase for? Do we have a key? Is that why we're doing stuff here now? No, thank you. Keep walking, you deviant. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. All right, that was weird. How we're walking. All right, you animals. You should be ashamed of your lack of musical knowledge. The best song in the world is The Autumn End. No doubt, you, uh, no doubt about it. That song's rules. That's a bald-faced lie. Love is Myth is not only the superior song, but it's also technically more interesting. You don't know music. Liars! It's the same song, you jerk. The words lover's myth are in the damn lyrics. No, it's not. You don't have a good taste and you know nothing. Hey, sell this thing for us. Dumb, dumb idiots say that Autumn's End and lover's myth are different songs. That's just, that's just wrong. Please help me prove these jerks are so wrong. You play the guitar? Of course you do, look at those fingers. Hell is the size of mountains. True. If only you knew the, the song, you can play it for us. Wait a second. I know where you can find the sheets the music the autumn end. It's literally the sports anthem to the city I'm from. Everyone knows it. I'm sure you can find a shop in Norwell that sells it. It's gotta be there. Here's some pocket change. Keep it, but bring back the sheet music. Halls versus Simons. Simmons. Hey, you. What are you, like, running some back door? My name's Randy. I know, I know. Shh. Aren't you the merch you're supposed to be called Theodore? Yes. But you know, let's stop paying your franchise's fees to Raccoon Inc. Listen, hear me out. I know what you're thinking. This guy looks shady. That's well, that's right. That's why I cut off my arm and my leg to get you the best prices. And not just the best prices, the best items. Take a look and remember. The name is Randy. My stock can't be beat. Okay. Oh my god. I just realized that all those times I was buying opals, they're different than ovals. <laughs> Good for one mint condition cow. Fuck. Oh. How many cows can I have? Olive seeds? Hell yeah. Sugar cane? Well, whatever. Buck's lair of... Oh! That's why we came here. You need something, sweetie? A good time, perhaps? No, well, then keep fucking walking. I'm down here all the time. This place smells like hot garbage on a Sunday. 
sun hits the dumpster, you're right, you really need some deed fish. Attacks Glim's hardware at work. This game, I, I miss this game. I'm so glad that we're back in it. Ugh. Especially after playing games that pissed me off the whole time. <laughs> what do you got for me? Bazaar. Okay. So good. Such a good game. To God navigate. Yes, I can feel its vulnerable magic flowing through my nostrils. Its perfume possesses a distinct aromas of lilac and elderberries. <laughs> Look at it. Cryptic ruins, silvery ornaments, without the shadow of a doubt, the scroll was written in the ancient language of Nagad and make a knowledge roll. 18, fantastic. Your success indicates you can read the old Nagadian proficiently. Commander, let yourself be guided by the enchanted instructions. Once the house is built, I can finally read the rest of the scenarios. Once the lair is erected, I will rest at last. Now I have the power to pierce through the enthral veil and communicate with elemental powers. My humble fate lies in your hands, Commander. We got you, bud. They have only rolled an 18, but you know, gonna get crit for this. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll get crit for you. What we got? What we got? Guest house. Buck Slayer Wonder. Clear class sheet and pine plank. All right, bud. Sorry, you're probably sleeping on the ground for a while. I don't know what the hell pine is. Yep. So hungry. Bring me some Cheetos, Dad. Damn guys Alright so here's the thing man It's been a while since we played uh, I don't remember how long these episodes tend to come out to be I don't want to make them too long um, I could play this game for freaking ever But you don't probably want to watch them in that longest boot So I think we're going to leave this episode here um, So I can keep it kind of short And once again We got all kinds of things to do Let's hope it lasts a while We'll miss our boy Geo But you know, I'm sure we got plenty of guys to meet. I want to thank everybody for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!